In what society does one see three witches in a field and just goes up to them and be like, hey, what's up? If I see three witches, I'm going to run, jump out the window, race, scream, pray, whatever. The concept comes out of a, a, a simple question that I ask myself when I read the play. It's, why are you talking to witches? That's interesting because they don't seem to be afraid of them. That tells me that there is a world where people who are not witches and people who are witches can interact freely. And I started thinking about the way we deal with the sort of otherness in our culture and that at the same time as we are denigrating them, we also praise them, you know? We, we go to sort of uh, the shaman or the witch doctor or the medicine man or whatever to get our medicine to help us, you know, root out the evils in our life and then we'll burn them at the stake. They don't actually tell Macbeth to kill anyone. They just say, you're going to be the king. And then him and his wife start reaching for daggers. So I think that witches had been blamed a little bit for making Macbeth do what Macbeth uh, does. And I was like, well, what if the witches, what if we told it from their perspective? You should be women. And yet your beards forbid me to interpret that you are so. And then the all-male idea comes from the Banquo line about you should be women but you have beards. And I was like, well, what if they are men? And of course Shakespeare, all of his plays were originally done with all men. And I wanted to explore what does that mean, you know, because we have the legendary character Lady Macbeth. And, but it was essentially written by a man, played by a man. And most of the audience were probably men. Look, she doesn't even have a name. Her name's Lady, you know. She didn't, we didn't even give the woman a name. When I see Lady M, usually they remove all femininity from her. She's just basically a masculine, evil woman. But screw your courage to the sticking place and will not fail. So I contend that there was never a woman's voice in Macbeth. And I want to highlight the idea of what happens when you get a bunch of men in a locker room setting, if you will, and they begin to deal with a relationship that is heterosexual in, in its nature. What does that reveal, you know? Can we have a relationship between Lady Macbeth and Macbeth, uh, and even Macbeth and Banquo, that transcends gender? It's still theater, and it needs to be alive. And if you're just blowing wind into a corpse, then you just have the walking dead walking around.